Hello everyone, I'm gonna go through how to get each of the Gilo Aethers in this video. Th those are used for the expert recipes, which are used for the other Otter Fountain for the Island Sanctuary. So I'm gonna just go through the rotation I use and stats and whatnot. So melds in the video description, just in case I can go through them here too. Same melds as previous video. I will probably toy around with the purple script gear because you can now meld two materials on them. See if they work well. I, I'm thinking about doing that next. Okay, rings are the same. So those are the melds. I'm using carrot nibbles as food. Just use any food that gives you a lot of gathering because gathering increases your percentage of getting sublime. So basically it's just your regular collectibles but there is only two notes that they appear in. It's the old legendary notes from 6.0. The botanist one is here in Ultima tool along with the potent spice and uh, double-edged her all right so oh we got gathering integrity plus two gathering attempts plus two which is nice all right let's begin so I use uh, collectors focus now for aether sounds I don't do collectors focus to save GP but since uh, since this is only a one-time note per window I like to increase my chances of getting the intuition which gives me more collectability per hit and obviously scrutiny still so scrutiny collectors focus and then do meticulous nice if we are lucky it's 67 percent chance to hit the crit which gives us 500 let's do it again collectors focus scrutiny another meticulous if if both don't crit then you're gonna need a third meticulous didn't crit never lucky so I'm gonna need another one to get to thousand once you get to thousand collectability you get a sublime crystal bloom and now I just forgot to pop the carrot nibbles I showed you the food but I forgot to pop it. It's okay. I'll pop it for the botanist. Uh, sorry, for the minor node that's coming up next. And you can see that it increases my chance. You see on the upper left corner, it says 60%. Sorry, 6% to get prime. So, eh. If I didn't forget the food, it would have been 9%, which is a huge deal. 3% in the long run makes a big difference. So now we just gather, hopefully we hit crit. And then use uh, Angelus Wars and Eureka Moment to get more attempts. Now if I didn't have forgotten the food, I would have maybe gotten a a crit but oh well so that's the botanist one you just now is you... there's still a small chance to get the gilo aether even without hitting sublime but it's very rare All right, here we are next in on the. All right, here we are next at the minor note. Now let's not forget the food this time. Carrot nibbles, pop it. All right. No gathering attempts plus two this time. Sadness. All right. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, same thing. Scrutiny, collector's focus, meticulous. Now I even have 70% intuition after collector's focus, if I don't forget the food, <laughs> so that's pretty good. Uh, another scrutiny, collector's focus, meticulous. 
Very nice. Both of them crit, so I'm at 1000. I don't need a third meticulous. So now just collect. And as you can see, it's 9% and I already hit Sublime. Yes, got a Sublime. Now I didn't forget food is actually 3% more. 3% higher rate. Oh my god, twice in a row. Don't forget solid reason. And we got Eureka moment as well. Oh! No, that was the other guys. <laughs> I thought it was mine. Alright. You can see the animation is a little more sparkly when you hit Sublime. Got one Gilo Aether. Now, if there is a chance, you can bonus as well. You get two if you hit bonus. It's rare, though. So that's the miner and botanist. Next, we go get the fisher one. The fisher one, here is the spot right here. The font of Maya in Thavnir. And the bait is Mayfly, which you get with purple scripts. Now, preferably, you should be already start fishing at 2 a.m. The window itself is 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. But what you can do is start at 2 a.m. and try to get the bait the, to mooch. Don't mooch it yet, just get the bait. And once you hit 3 a.m., then you cast the mooch. So you have to pop patience too as well for guaranteeing the mooch. Okay, sit down, cast. Now the mooch is one exclamation mark catch. So anything else you can either use uh, surface slab to get rid of the any more chance getting that. So you have a higher chance getting them the mooch. It's, I like to just try to hook. If it gets it, it gets it. If not. It's fine. If I do fish it, I'll just use surface slab to get rid of any chance of getting it. That's why I have a higher chance getting the mooch. Just remember, do not use mooch. There we go, we got it. Now, I, I don't use it right away. I need to wait until 3 a.m. The window for this fish is, as I said, 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. So what you do is just wait. You can start at 2 a.m. yours in time. This way you still have patience buff left. Remember, you have to ha also have patience buff remaining. This way you can get higher collectability of the fish. As otherwise, you have very little chance of get getting the Gilo Aether. Maybe not even a chance. So we want to get as high collectability as we can. And for that, we need a patience buff. So that's why I start getting the Mooch at 2 a.m. This way I have... Barely any patience left once I hit 3 a.m. Because if you pop another patience, your mooch gets destroyed. Now it's 3 a past 3 a.m. Now I press mooch. Now if it's the fish we want, it will bite under 10 seconds. If it doesn't bite under 10 seconds, it's not the one we want. I think it's the one we want, yeah. That didn't feel like... That felt like less than 10 seconds. Nope. That was not it. Yeah, it, it's way fast. The way... After you cast the mooch, it like bites almost kind of instantly. It feels like only like 3-4 seconds sometimes. And that was not a smart thing to do, I... Yeah, that I fucked up. I should have refreshed my patience before casting. If there is not... 3 seconds or more remaining of your... Patience buff... Cancel and recast the patience. Because now I don't have patience buff for the actual mooch. Now even if I get the fish, it will be low collectability. I'm kinda glad I fucked up, cause then I... I can explain it. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's unfortunate. This is the fish that I want to... 
Yeah, that was gonna be low collectability. I don't think I'll get Giloether from this. 784. You would want 800 plus, but maybe I will still get one from this. We'll see. But that was bad. Okay, I'm gonna use Angler's Art, get some GP back, and do Patience 2 again. Use a core deal and try again. Man, that's unfortunate that I forgot about that. Yeah, don't don't try to get the bait if you don't have more than thirty seconds remaining on patience. You'll that will just happen to you. By the time you get the bait, the patience buff will run out, and you will get lower collectability of the turtle. We got a bait, nice. Oh, that was almost instant. This is the fish, come on. Nice, we got it. This one is proper. This is one... This one is gonna be proper collectability. Oh yeah, 864. That's what we want. So yeah, just rinse and repeat. You have until 6 a.m. To try to get more... In average, you can get two per window. If you don't fuck up like I did. I'll just use normal hook if I get it. I'll just use surface slap. That, that increases your chance of getting the bait a little more, but it also costs 200 extra GP. So only do it if you have the spare GP. I feel like also trying to hook it, it's faster than waiting for it to stop biting. Waiting for it to get away. Okay, after this I refresh my patience because my... Okay, I got the bait, that was good. But how had I not gotten the bait right here, I would have restarted my patience buff. Nice, we got another one. And we still have until 6 a.m. So I, there is a chance I can get one more. This was a good window actually. This has been really good. Use Angler's Art for more GP. If you're getting close to the end of the window, you can also use Chum to make the fish bite faster. Just to kind of use your GP in a good way to increase efficiency. We got three. One of them was unlucky. Let's see. Let's reduce that first. Yeah, we didn't get any Aether. We got one there. Okay, only one. Even with the highest collectability, you sometimes still don't get any. And the mills are the same, obviously, except the Fisher main hand, which is dif different from uh, Botanist and Miner. There are the stats for that. I just melded more gathering because it, ha it happens that the fish runs away. With the, even with the hook set. So e higher gathering, I think, helps with in decreasing the amount Decreasing the chance of the fish getting away. So I just did extra gathering. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. This seems to be a recurring problem for many people. And I fixed it. I have my own way of fixing it. Basically, people forget, including me, I forgot many times. To pop my collectable ability. The collect action. When changing to Fisher. So I just added it to the macro to my Fisher gear set. So every time I change to Fisher, every time I change to Fisher, 
it will automatically pop collect after one second. So here's the macro. So yeah, I hope I really hope this helps. If it did, please please like the video, and if you wanna support the content further, you can do that on Patreon or Twitch. Where on Patreon you get these guides early as well. Thank you, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.